Make a Monday Basic is brought to you by Pesla, the people behind PRTG Network Monitor. To find out how PRTG can help you monitor your IT systems, check out the links below. Now, the episode. What is Python? Python originated in the late 80s, early 90s, and according to the Foundation's website, is a programming language that lets you work more quickly and integrate your systems more effectively. Some features of this language include object orientation, structured programming, dynamic typing and binding, and garbage collection. So what are the origins of Python? Once upon a time, there was a Dutch programmer named Guido van Rossum, who was a huge Monty Python fan and who was bored over the Christmas holidays. So inspired by the language ABC, he sat down and created Python. The idea behind Python was to create an easy to read and understand and therefore beautiful programming language. The Zen of Python is a collection of principles on what is considered to be Pythonic code. They can basically be summed up as creating concise code that does not require further explanation. Knowing what the essence of Python is and its principles helps to understand its use cases and why it's among the top five programming languages. Another reason for the popularity of this programming language is its versatility. There is an almost endless list of libraries available for Python. Just to give you a number, there's over 190,000 projects in the Python package index, the third party repository of Python. So where is Python actually being used? With its extensive libraries and focus on clean and reusable code, Python is a perfect tool for building complex applications. Creating extensibility was one of the reasons for writing Python and now is one of the main advantages when integrating different sources into one code. This also means that Python can be used across different platforms and operating systems. These operating systems include everything from Windows and Mac to Unix and Linux. Ease of use. Is your code going to be used by people with different levels of programming language experience? Think about writing it in Python because it is so simple to read, it is an appealing language for beginners and for experts. This also includes code that may need to be maintained and updated frequently. This also makes it a very robust language that is easy to test and to debug. Examples of Python. Some of the most famous apps that are at least partially based on Python include Reddit, Instagram, uh, they use Django, a Python web framework, Spotify, and Netflix. A pretty popular example of where Python can not only be used to write your own features, but where a whole platform is based on it is Home Assistant, something we've used in Maker Monday a lot. If you want to experiment with Python and have a Raspberry Pi available, there are tons of projects available. For example, how about this DIY weather station? Limitations. A lot of Python's drawbacks stem from past habits of the programming community. For one, limitations of Python include the prevalence of other languages in certain computing fields. Additionally, as Python is considered a safe language due to its garbage collection and the dynamic binding, Python can be sluggish with a huge overhead if, for example, compared to C. So anything that needs to favor speed and resource allocation over code prettiness is probably not a good use case for Python. And that's Python. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, click on subscribe below, click the little notification icon, and we'll see you soon for new episodes of Maker Monday.